Salut everybody. <sighs> I had to come up with a different way to start my video. Come on here. I'm here tonight, right now, uh, filming this a little bit early because I kind of want to get it out of the way while my thoughts and impressions are still fresh on it all, which is what I like to do with these reviews, is a fresh thought, fresh impression. And right now we're going to talk about the penultimate episode of Breaking Bad, Granite State. I thought it was brilliantly done, and I've, I've, I've kind of cheated on this. I, I've read some reviews, I've seen some other people's thoughts on it, but their thoughts kind of echo what's going through my mind now. And what's going through my mind now for the end of Breaking Bad is, what is going to happen? It's really not clear right now. Uh, before I go any further in this, uh, cue the spoiler alert screen. Okay, so we are now seeing Walt. He's been picked up by the cleaner. We know who the cleaner is, and that that's pretty cool that we actually know who this is and everything he's trying to do for Walt up to this point. Saul is on the run now, which is interesting. I think we're done with Saul for now until the spin-off, but the spin-off is more of a prequel to it all. So I think we're done with Saul, myself. I think we're done with him. Walt is completely defeated and devastated. He is he is at the bottom of the barrel right now. He's alone. He's isolated. He's still taking his treatments. Uh, Skylar is using her maiden name. Uh, Walt Jr. is permanently going by Flynn right now, and right then and there on the phone with Walt, he denounces him completely. Like, complete sheer abandonment of his father. That was devastating in itself. And to top it off, like the icing on the cake of it all was the scene when Walt was in the bar, when they were talking with, uh, with the people he founded Grey Matter with, and talking about how... They came up with the name, and they said that's all the influence he's ever had. The Walter White we knew, the, the loving, caring man who helped us with what we were doing, is dead. That was the last nail in the coffin, really, for Walt, when you think about it. He is utterly defeated, devastated. He has no one except the vacuum cleaner guy. He doesn't really have a name, I don't believe. Uh, from the episode. He's just the vacuum cleaner guy in credits. That's all Walt has in the world right now. He reads month-old newspapers. He needed to get new glasses, which does explain that scene uh, a few episodes ago. He's got new glasses, his hair's grown back, he's got a full beard. We, we see where some of this has come from. So where to now? And uh, well, before we get in a little more into that, Jesse... Uh, he is, he's really getting the shit beat out of him, this last going off. I'm feeling awful for the guy. I mean, there he was, just a petty drug peddler at the beginning of the series. And now look where he, the one person he had in this world that he loved, the one person that cared about his well-being, his welfare... Shot dead by this Todd guy. Uh, I really don't know where to begin with that, and I don't want to delve too much into it because, I mean, with one episode left, I'm really wondering what's going to happen. Uh, part of me thinks Jesse is going to meet his end. The other part of me thinks he's going to be the downfall of the Aryans, and a tiny, tiny part of me thinks he might be the one to finish off Walt. However, when you look at everything else, retrusting Walt might be his only opportunity to get revenge on the Aryans. That might be the only way about it. But what's Walt going to do now? All he has left in the world is the vial of ricin and his rifle. His automatic rifle. I think it's an M90, M60, M8. I got. I'm not a gun uh, researcher, so I don't rightly know uh, what exactly he's using. Just... 
it's relaxing night, gotta have a little, you know, something, something. But I see a lot of speculation as to where he is going to go. I'm on the side that he is going after the Aryans. I, I'm on that boat because I'd believe it more. I've had some people speculating. I've heard them say they're speculating uh, that he's going after Grey Matter. Why would he do that? I mean, this is just a tiny piece that's been brought up at the end. We haven't really heard much of Grey Matter. We saw them in... Oh, I think it was the first season, early half of the second season, uh, before uh, before Skylar realizes something's not what it seems. Because for the first duration, uh, she is believing that Grey Matter is paying the medical bills. And then when she finds out they aren't, that changes the perspective on it all. So that's, that's something that's happening there. Uh, that's the only time, really, we've seen and heard from the Grey Matter people since then. They've, they've kind of dropped off the radar, and we've only known about them because that's Walt's past. So I can't see him going after Grey Matter. I really can't see him going after his wife uh, and children. I really don't see that happening because, as he reiterated, everything he did, he did for his family. He's made that perfectly clear, so I can't see him at this stage in the game, even though his family has completely disowned him, disavowed him, and want him dead, I can't see him going after them, because it, he still loves his family, even though they have denounced him. Uh, so, uh, we are just a few days away. I wish I didn't need sleep so I could watch AMC's uh, marathon. They are starting uh, Wednesday night at 8 Eastern Time, running all through the entire series. They're, they are doing a series finale build-up the right way by showing the entire series before they air the final episode. If anyone's able to stay up, the whole duration of that, I admire you. Because I would love to be able to do that. I think that is brilliant build-up for everything. I still have more reviews to do this week because Wednesday night is our review of Criminal Minds, if you remember the schedule correctly. But I want to get your thoughts. Where is Walt going with the rifle? Where is he going with the ricin? What's going to happen to Jesse? Those are the major questions for the Breaking Bad series finale. Everything else is kind of in between it all. Uh, but those are the two big questions. What's Walt going to do? What's going to happen to Jesse? There's a comment box down here. Let's discuss this. What's going to happen? Uh, who are you rooting for? Who do you think Walt is going to kill? If he's going to kill anybody. What's going to happen to Jesse? Is, is Uncle Jack done for? Is Todd done for? What's going to happen in your own thoughts? And we'll revisit this when I review the finale. Uh, so whenever that is, we'll revisit it. I'll give my thoughts. And hopefully I will have a much higher impression than, uh, than my previous uh, review. We all know what that was. Uh, so yeah, leave a comment, subscribe. Let's discuss this. This is The Rev, and I'll be back with another review here on Premiere Finale Week. Have a good one, everybody.